Diedrich Bank is proud to support our local high school sports teams and be the Rep King Media Sponsor for the 2023-2024 basketball season. Live for today, bank for tomorrow, member FDIC.
with this team, um, especially when Montgomery got at physical and pressure of the basketball, especially when Montgomery got uh, his second foul and he was out of the game. Um, you know, I, we didn't really feel like outside of him they had a guy that could really handle um, our pressure as long as we contained them. And I, I thought we did a great job of that. Our communication was, was overall really great. Um, there were times we were supposed to switch and they did it. Some, there were times we weren't supposed to. Um, you know, that's the defensive end and, and we really rebounded well too to really separate it. Um, moved the basketball tremendously. Um, that's another key that we thought was important is, is making them play defense a little bit longer than they wanted to because then we thought we could get the shots we wanted and we did. And, you know, we got some we had some guys that just weren't confident in themselves the past couple games and I think you saw that confidence grow a little bit today, which is good to see. It's hard for me to say how proud I am of Alex. You know, he he was he got minutes early in the season, um, and you know, didn't really he didn't play aggressive like Alex needed to. Um, and I think that that's where the JV game really helped him. Uh, and it's it's hard for kids to, to to understand that that they need those JV minutes sometimes to get you in, back into what you need to do. And you know he lost his varsity minutes there for a couple of games, and he didn't pout, he didn't question, um, he just he decided he needed to get better. And uh, he got his opportunity this tournament, and he thrived. And you know, uh, yeah, Kent Nieberg, he told him, uh, I think it was before the Dixon game, he said, you know, you belong on the floor. I hope you know that. And, and I think that was big for Alex to hear somebody like Kent say, and he's right. He, Alex, he belongs on the floor in a varsity basketball game, and he's starting to play more and more like that. I know you mentioned on the radio how execution is key before the result, but when you are trying to finish a game and you have a big lead and they make a comeback, how do you get over that hump of actually finishing a game? It's, it's just keep working on it. You know, uh, hopefully with more experience they'll they'll get that. We are executing so much better. Uh, we're just not executing the finish, uh, you know, on, on either side of the ball. We're not executing finishes at the basket. We're not executing finishes as far as rebound, getting the rebounds that we need to get. You know, there's a lot of times I feel like we get our hands on the ball and we don't get it. Uh, we're losing a lot of 50-50 balls, which is, is, is disheartening. Uh, but again, that's, we got to keep working on it, put them in those situations in practice uh, to where they can thrive in a game. You know, sometimes, you know, Effingham's gym's a little bit bigger. Sometimes that bothers kids. It doesn't seem to bother our kids. You know, it's a, it's, it's almost like another home game for them. They play on this floor so much that uh, it, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't affect them in any way. And they, they were, they were really good shots too. They were, they were skips, they were kickouts. They, you know, we didn't, I don't think we took a bad one. They're doing a tremendous job of executing. We just gotta take it to the next step of, of finishing, of, you know, more more consistently you know, it's they're high school kids still Steve it's you know it's 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 hard sometimes for them to continue to to you know to do things that make you successful and, you know Oakland started trapping and pressuring right. and you know you yeah, get Gumbert sped up and, smooth and, and he is a very good player I mean he just smooth yeah he just adds the more I call so it's 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 hard to sometimes when you I mean you saw us when, when it got down to 10 we started executing better and doing things right it's when you have a 21 point lead, you, you tend to relax. And, and then, I mean, Alex Kramer was one of the, one of the high, Gavin Addis was a, another big highlight. You know, you saw their confidence, confidence build, uh, which was, which is great. We don't have, and no offense to the guys we have, and I, I'm brutally honest with you, we don't have those guys that can just consistently go get their own bucket, you know, um, which is fine. But it also means that we we've got to execute what we do. We got to manufacture everything that we get, and we got to take advantage of those loose ball opportunities, those off offensive rebound opportunities. Um, and they're starting to do it. They're doing. They are they are head and shoulders above where they were to start the year. Um, and you're going to see us start just keep getting better and better and better. I think. What did you learn the most in these four games? Uh, that we got a lot of guys that can do some really good things. Um, it's not all about just two players for us. Um, you know, we need to. Uh, we've we've got to be more consistently rebounding wise. Um, we're not. I tell them all the time. They're not. We're not high flyers. We don't play above the rim. We got to execute everything right to be able to to finish possessions. And 
Uh, they're starting. They're slowly, slowly but surely starting to do that. And, you know, Mitch Custer, Mitch Custer, we, we, you saw what, what a great leader he is. You know, in that Dixon, that three overtime game, we had three starters that fouled out. So that means we're playing three guys that typically aren't playing in that situation. Uh, and Mitch, Mitch rallied the troops. He was getting. He was. He was telling guys, you know, this is where you go, and this is where you're going to be, and he was building up their confidence the whole time. He was the reason that we even got into a third overtime. You know, his leadership is was was, was absolutely tremendous. And then you saw him, you saw the ball go in the hole for him. Like I said, he's starting to look even for a shot. Go more. And that's that's hard for kids to understand is that positive energy, that leadership, the vocalness, the communication tends to make you play better and make you shoot better. I told him in the locker room, it's two and two is not what you wanted. I get that, but two and two in this tournament, with the style of teams that you play, you know, we're the second smallest school in the in the entire tournament, and uh, um, not that that's ever an excuse, but you know, to go two and two and beat beat a couple quality teams is is is, is to is a, I think it's really something for them to be proud of. You know, the, we do have a tough stretch in January. What we went through in these three days. That, that that stretch should not face them. You know, you know, are we going to have to play well to to win games? Yes, uh, but this right here, this adversity that put us through, I think January is going to be a different story for us because of what we went through these three days.